Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today it's upon us. The holidays, Thanksgiving is coming around the corner. I decided to buy a fryer. So we're going to talk about a little bit of the fryer. If you're not familiar with fryers or frying a turkey, look it up. It's a really delicious um, turkey to cook and then the fryer. Yearly, I smoke my turkey every year. This year, I decided to do a smoked turkey and a fried turkey. So let's talk about the fryer here in front of us. Now, <clears throat> the value was $130. This could be found in many locations. It could be found at Costco, it could be found at a hardware store, it could be by Lowe's, Home Depot, and other facilities. Especially in Amazon, you could find this stuff. Now, we're gonna talk about this this prior, this this machine here because um, it, it has a safe mechanism. So it's safe to fry a turkey because people are afraid of frying turkeys and most of the times because there's accidents and uh, if you overflow the oil it starts a fire instantly now this one has a lot of features that I like a sec um, proper security feature so in case something ever like that happens it shuts itself off it completely stops any oil leaking uh, over over draining actually over the system so let's take a look at it let's open it out right in front of you and you guys let me know what you guys think now that we got rid of the box, the box was the hardest thing. So I couldn't fit the box and myself remove this whole thing. So I ended up removing the box, shaking it back and putting it down, dropping it down. So let's see what you get. First of all, this is valuable. I mean, you're going to read about this from one cover to the other. And you got to, if you own something like this and your life depends on it or your house depends on it, please view the instructions and the video included. Now the video has a lot of recipes itself too and instructions and warning about how to use this properly. So please consult your manual when you open this before you even start using it. First thing, line of defense, your manual. And if you're missing parts, there's a number here you can call. They'll send you the parts replacement. Now, if you purchase this under the Costco, you could actually insure this too. And Costco has a great insurance plan where you pay uh, $50 per two years, and if it breaks down or something happens within that two years, they'll replace it, no questions asked, to the similar model or better model if it's not available. Now, what I'm telling you to consult your manual is because there's a lot of problems with these things. I mean, this is very dangerous to just fry a turkey on your backyard or in your house. In fact, I'm not guaranteeing I'm gonna put this inside my house and fry the turkey inside my house so i'm gonna leave it and cook it outside my house even though i don't i trust the machine that has fail mechanism i still don't want to fry the turkey in my house if something goes wrong it's gonna happen in the backyard not in my house so if you value your stuff try it out first get familiar with it where your first year i would try it maybe outside somewhere where it's gonna be a shelter maybe if it's raining you have to do it make sure that it's indoors but if it's not rainy, it's a beautiful sunny day or winter or whatever time it is, do it for the first time. Try it outside, not in your home. That's my recommendation. That's the only thing I would say if you're ever going to try something like this. So let's go ahead and wrap it. Unwrap it. So here, the first thing we see, let me turn it around for you guys. It's a beautiful model. It's beautiful. Now they have different colors. They have red ones, blue ones, and stainless. Uh, the stain is pretty much just like the cover itself. Now let's open it up because basically you get all the the, the rest of uh, utilities inside the systems because they want to fit more, cramp more stuff for you inside. So here are the per, uh, pretty much the controls and there's one or two buttons. There's a timer system now. This thing is made for a 16 to 20 pound turkey. Anything higher than that, don't recommend you. The manual says that, hey, keep it within that weight limit because after that there's different consequences you could have problems turkey not fitting in something's happening something might not get cooked right so like i said consult your manual and the dvd before you start cooking any of this stuff now a 20 pound turkey is pretty big you know 16 14 to 20 pounds is still big enough for one family uh now the timer consists of a, a minutes and it also has a degree temperature reader here. Now, the reader is part of the, the timer that you're gonna set up. You could go digitally, and it, ta it tells you exactly how much time you kinda need, how much, what the temperature you're gonna require. Now, this system's a heater, 
a heat, a copper rod, and the rod kind of heats whatever substance you have, either water or oil. Now, when you're gonna fry a turkey, you're gonna use oil, of course. But if you're gonna do a shrimp oil, you use water. And this is also a dual system where you could shrimp oil and use it for turkey frying, all right? So if you wanna fry other things, you know, corn dogs, uh, your Twinkies, for example, or other things that you can use this machine, fries and all sorts of things. So let's take a look at it and let's open it up, see what you also get, right? Now, this is a great accessory. So they give you heavy duty gloves. These are not just your regular do uh, gloves that you get on the store. These are heavy duty gloves that you use to any, any fryer professional out there in the industry would use these kind of gloves. And these gloves are made just for this kind of events. Um, See, it's, it's, these frying turkey gloves are made for not just any heat preventing stain or jumping out water or boiling or anything like that. These are actually fireproof. They're pretty hard, tough, and, and they're really, really, really pretty awesome little gloves. They're very comfortable. Now the gloves are just made so you could grab the fryer, pan them out, and take it out with the turkey and everything stripping. You don't have a problem because these will prevent you from burning. Or having any damage to your hands but don't recommend you leaving it in there for a couple hours or minutes or whatever it's this is only for an instant grab Just grab it take it out and put it on now this is an, a, a great addition for if you're gonna own this machine and you're gonna fry stuff great addition this is a, a must because if you don't have this make sure you have something to take out the rod and pull the whole thing out because the pot is it's pretty heavy so you're gonna need two hands maybe that's why it comes with two gloves so this is a great addition here. Now, another thing that they included, the injector. Not a lot of things come with, with injectors these days, but they know you're gonna wanna inject your turkey. And they know this thing is made for a turkey. So that's why it's pretty much they include the injector. Great addition, a thermometer. Of course, you wanna read the oil system. You wanna read the oil that's in the system itself. You wanna read the temperature on the turkey itself too also. Now, this is a great, addition that it's also built in here too but this will tell you more accurate so once you put this in there and extend it you try it out test it out it'll come back with the reading so great 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 plus of course this comes with a protector of course you go hang it this on your on your shirt or somewhere it's a it's a little clip and then you got the actual clip where you actually inject the turkey see if you're in the right temperature now for cooking the turkey there's different temperatures different ways of doing it uh, consult before you consult the manual or the recipes before you continue on in cooking the turkey um, the range to cook a turkey on a fryer depends on the turkey size so a uh, maximum of uh, an hour and a half to an hour you know so that's where kind of it balances out where it's cooked the turkey it, it normally takes an hour for a fried turkey these days but Consult your manual and, and also the recipe before you continue on. I'm not the cook here. You are going to be. So make sure you protect yourself and you do it the proper way. Now, they give you a couple of tools in here too. They give you a handle. So you could grab the handle from the turkey itself and bring it back up. I'm going to demonstrate exactly how it's used. The power cord itself. Do not use this. This is very va valuable. Very useful for this the whole thing to work. So make sure you take care of that now they also give you a draining pipe here and I'm gonna show you exactly what to use this system for so you gotta make sure that you know and you're aware of how to use this because this is one way you're gonna drain the oil out after it's done and you, you can't just toss the oil anywhere you gotta make sure you recycle it in the right proper way a lot of these places that recycle this kind of oil will take it from um, Say a fast food place, they have a way to recycle the oil. They have barrels. Maybe you could go in there and donate it, the extra oil because that oil gets recycled. Another place that is taking the oil, this kind of oil substance, is AutoZone or auto part places too. So if you don't have a place to um, dispose of this, find it, look around it, but don't, don't empty in the sink. This is not very healthy for the environment. So make sure you properly end up uh, disposing of the oil. So let's go ahead and review a couple of these items in here. Here's the actual turkey pot that, that we're talking about. And here's the handle that we're talking about. So once you grab the turkey, you basically have to 
maneuver yourself into the area, pick up the turkey, and it hangs. This is what's pretty much avoiding all the oil. This is how you lift it up, all right? This is a great addition that they have in there. If you're gonna do shrimp oil or you're gonna do fried turkey and you don't wanna make sure any of the, uh, the oil or the water splashes on you because if it does, you need to go to emergency after a while. So make sure that you are properly secure. Bring up the turkey pretty heavy. You bring it up by yourself or with two people wearing a glove each but that's what it is for you. With the addition of the glove, an extra safety precaution, this is a great plus thing. So let's go ahead and put it back and let's go ahead and talk about the machine itself. So here's the machine. I'm gonna talk a little bit of details about the machine. The machine is made pretty awesome little machine. It looks very, very friendly to use, very easy to use, but there's additional security things that you need to know about these things. In case you're, you're ever try to, you know, not do a turkey and you're afraid of using it uh, like i said always start outside don't do it inside your house that's what i recommend you now first of all the most important thing is the heating bed uh, the heating bed and the heating bed is this additional system right here and i'm gonna pull it out here and demonstrate exactly how it works now the heating bed itself it's all the uh, it's it's an additional to this pot because you could use the pot for for anything it's like a you could use it for a cooler you could use it for all sorts of things it retains pretty much a heat and anything that you put in here too it could be ice too like i said now this heating system is pretty neat because um of course you will need to plug it in this is where you actually plug in the, the actual power plug right here in this section right here and uh the timer uh the power and it ready and it says ready listo it means ready listo it means spanish uh, done uh, ready and now there is a rail system here that actually attaches to this whole system here and when you drop it in it kind of it has to lock in it locks in automatically make sure that is properly locked in like i said if you don't understand this stuff make sure you consult your manual now a great addition to the system there's a temperature reader here to, temp, uh, to monitor the oil something to see how hot it is too. So in addition with that, here's the heating bed itself. It's all plugged in and it all goes to the same system. Now, once we're gonna put this on the side so you guys can see some more stuff on it. This is a great thing that about this whole system because once you're done with the turkey, you wanna be able to cook, you wanna, again, you wanna be able to reuse this again. You wanna make sure you could properly take it out. And of course, you gotta little bend it down. Take it out and you're gonna have to clean it up. First time using it, make sure you wash it before you use it because there's a lot of dust. These systems sit somewhere in a warehouse or somewhere, particles go in here, make sure you wash it before. Or what you can do is test run it with hot water. So add water into the system, turn it on, hot water will start boiling and it start, it's gonna kill all the substances that are bad. So my recommendation, run it with hot water first, dry it up, and then when you're ready for the turkey, follow the instructions. Now there is a draining pipe here. Great addition to the draining pipe right here. This system actually unlocks here and you wanna stretch it out. That's what this is for. You pretty much twist it in there. Twist it down. Knob is to close and lock, open, close, open and close. So when you're ready to recycle the oil, you can put it back in the same substance that it came on and put it all in there, drain it back in there. So, like I said, test run it with the hot water. It's a great addition to make sure you know your machine before you start using it. And with hot water, it's pretty safe, pretty pretty inconvenienced to, to you start using. So you don't have to spend money on it the first time. So you could do your test run, do it with the hot water. Try with some, um, boil some shrimp, boil something in there, eggs or something, whatever it is for your first time test running. Make sure you do the test before you actually start using this subject. Now, this pot is pretty big. It could take more than 20 pounds, but it's not made for more than 20 pounds. So you wanna make sure you have the limitation. Now, when you actually fill this up, you don't fill it all the way. It, there's a way you have to fill up the system where the whole turkey fits in there. That's why I'm telling you, read the recipe, read the pounds that you need, and make sure you follow the instructions before you go in depth and start looking into how to use it and, and make sure you know how to use it. Like I said, best proper way, boil hot water. You can't go wrong with boiling hot water. And at the same time, you're gonna clean it up at the pretty much. So let's go ahead and bring the camera closer so you can see more details. Here's pretty much the, the pot from the outside. It's a really great stainless system. Um, 
I used one before in the past. I used the old fashioned one, but this one is just like beautiful. The way they, the color itself, it's a, it's a midnight blue color. That's what it's called. Midnight blue color. So beautiful color in it. I love the whole substance. The whole base is ready to set up. It's all plastic in the bottom. It's all stainless, the top of course. And then it has little drain areas in case you overflow some of the oil in here. And of course the system is made for to shut down if it over prevents the stuff. Now putting it in, it's a little pain in the ass because you gotta bend it down a little bit. Once you bend it down, it pretty much goes all the way down the bottom. Now it's set up already. It's ready to go. And pretty much we need the rail system to come in here. And also in top of the rail system, it has to be the heating bed itself. So let's go ahead and set it up again. You find your way in there, you find it, it locks it in and it pretty much sets and settles down. Once it settles down, it doesn't touch the bottom of it, of course, because this whole thing heats up. This whole system heats up in the bottom of it. You plug it in on the right-hand side here, of course. Timer temperature goes here. Like I said, per pound, you gotta make sure you read the instructions how much you're gonna end up cooking. Experiment with it. Use the water substance. Now. We are gonna add everything in here that we need in here. So once we set it up, once we set up this fryer, it's pretty much when you're dropping the turkey in, when you're dropping the turkey in, of course, here's where the turkey actually fries completely. It goes under and this is what you do. But when you're ready to lift it up and, and drain some of the turkey oil, lift it up and there's a little hook on the edge. And you lock it in there and it hangs. The turkey pretty much hangs in here, hanging onto this hook itself. Well, that concludes the butterball setup and the whole installation and all the substance you get and all the hardware you get in here. Now, my recommendation, like I said, again, I'm gonna emphasize again, practice with it. Boil some water, make sure you know how much it takes to heat up. Um, normally, it takes like an hour, half an hour to an hour, depending on the, on the amount of water you install in here. So make sure you consult, like I said, your manual before you continue on. Set it up where you're gonna know how much oil you're gonna fit in here for the turkey. You pretty much have to test these out before you actually open it up and run. Because when you buy this stuff, you gotta sanitize it first. And like I said, boiling water is a recommendation. It also says that in the manual too. So one great thing about this system, it's very compact, very small, very easy to place away. Do not throw the box away. You wanna make sure you wanna put this back in the box and make sure you wanna put it somewhere that it's not gonna be damaged or it's not gonna be scratched because this is a beautiful color that you wanna have on forever. And you wanna keep it on going. Maybe you could fry two or three turkeys a, a day or maybe some people are gonna come over and say, hey, can you fry my turkey? You know, it only takes an hour on some of these turkeys to fry. There's other things you can fry. It's not just turkeys, but there's ham, there's other substances you can do, other foods that you can do. Now the best and most popular is the turkey, I said. That's what they made this for. So it's an electrical fryer, great to have indoors for a cold day. Or, like I said, summer's coming, shrimp oil you can do. So I'm your host, Frank the Tank. You've been watching Upgrade. And please, don't forget to subscribe to Upgrade. Out. Oh.